out to Carnation. We're stopping at Carnation Farm, uh, which is now called Camp Cory uh, at Carnation Farm. Uh, Paul Newman had a role in transforming this place. It's a camp for disabled children. The original uh, uh, milking barn, huge area over here, is now an activity space. Uh, this is a celebrated place right now. Camp Cory just won a, uh, an award from the state for its environmental stewardship. And over here, uh, this is a, a, a large area that's been preserved called the Chinook uh, Natural Wildlife Area that the prior uh, steward, the Nestle Company, uh, donated. And I have to say that in all of the district, this is my absolute favorite place. It's a, it's a wildlife uh, preserve uh, intended to preserve salmon runs, actually. Uh, the ecosystem really has to be in balance. But just to come out here and listen to you know, the flow of the water or the silence, because uh, you know, living in suburban and urban life sometimes can get, drive you nuts. So I love to come out here and uh, just sort of take it in and really appreciate what folks have done to contribute this uh, for, in perpetuity uh, as a critical area. So it's a, re a really good example of environmental stewardship. So uh, here is this uh, world famous cow. I don't, I can't even pronounce the name, but uh, it, what's really what made Carnation famous. Apparently she produced like 34,000 gallons of milk in a two year period. Uh, and uh, I'm trying to read this, the plaque here. I think it says, the foster mother of the human race. I love it. But anyway, very famous cow, made Carnation famous. I always love to stop and take a look at this thing. Mm -hmm.